Right now at Appalachian Wireless, you can get the Samsung Galaxy S7 for just $99.99 and get a second one free. Service agreement is required on both devices, serving you for the last 25 years with better service and bigger savings at today's Appalachian Wireless. Numerous races will be decided with next week's general election, but one race here in Letcher County will take a while to resolve because no candidates filed to run. Two seats are open on the Jenkins Board of Education, and on Tuesday, candidates who chose to run for those seats would be elected, if anyone had filed to run. There are no candidates for the two seats being vacated by sitting board members Tracy Goff and Paulette Sexton, who did not seek re-election, and there are no provisions for writing candidates for local independent school district board seats. That means the matter will be decided on the state level. In the next couple of weeks, you'll see an advertisement in a local paper. We have to advertise two weeks in a row that we're accepting applications for appointment for the school board. Um, after that, then Mr. Thompson will bring in some more folks, uh, other board members from other surrounding districts, and they'll interview uh, those candidates. Once those candidates are interviewed, uh, Mr. Thompson and the committee will make a suggestion to the to the governor, the, the Secretary of Education, and then the Secretary of Education will um, in, in turn appoint uh, one person for each one of those positions. The issue puts the school district in an interesting position. Superintendent Mike Jenton said board business can continue with two positions open, but those seats won't open until January. He said the school district will have some involvement in the process, but the decision of the board appointments will be with the governor's office. We really don't know um, what's going to happen here. Um, you know, it's totally uh, out of our hands. Our only uh, our only responsibility is to advertise the position and to accept the applications and then pass those on to Mr. Thompson. Jenton said anyone living in the school district has the opportunity to be considered for the positions. They swing by here, pick up an application, fill it out, bring it back here, and then we'll forward that on to, to Mr. Thompson. And then from there, they'll contact them for an interview and things like that. And, and these positions will be for two years. The superintendent said he hopes to have this matter resolved by the time the new board term begins in January. Reporting in Jenkins for EKB News, I'm Chris Anderson.